Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. This won't be a weekly vlog, it's just gonna be a daily vlog in my life. So I'm gonna be taking a slight break from the weekly vlogs indefinitely. I, I will be skipping this week for sure. I'm not really sure when they will resume. Whenever I feel okay to start it again, I will. But for now, we're gonna do daily vlogs because I much rather do these. So today is actually Tuesday, September 14th. I've already made my bed, everything is clean. But first I'm gonna have some coffee and some fruit just to have something in my stomach because I won't like be having breakfast for a few more hours. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And for those of you who have no idea and you don't follow me on Instagram I am back to sew-ins now so this is the sew-in I, I chopped it off last night to like a really short long bob but you guys will see what it looks like in a moment I pin curled it and stuff just to kind of make sure that it had like a slight bump or wave but yeah that's besides the point I'm gonna see you guys in a bit let me go start filming I'm gonna be making this coffee from Trader Joe's I love this coffee so much it's their organic cold brew coffee it is super strong if you love really strong coffee this is going to be perfect for you all right i have made my coffee did all the breakfast stuff the construction is so loud and it's really just killing my entire vibe. Like you can hear it in the video and the footage. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Might have to end up doing a voiceover. <sighs> I don't know. But anyways, I'm taking out my pink curls. I thought I'd do the big reveal on camera for you guys. So um, yeah, I got a sew in. I chopped it last night to this length. My leave out is very short because as you guys know, I, I big chop my hair like my hair isn't that long yet but I feel like it's not as noticeable so I'm rolling with it um yeah and I'm happy to just have like a break from like the wigs and stuff so yeah this is the hair <laughs> for the day now but full disclosure it's not the same day that day you saw me vlogging in the pajamas and stuff I couldn't complete a vlog that day because the day got so chaotic and stressful like I didn't have time to vlog but I'm here now today I have a fun filled day well a fun filled errand day and I thought I'd take you guys along with me to kind of like see what I've been up to this week because I will not be uploading a weekly vlog so first and foremost my voice I am under the weather, I have allergies and they are just, I sound awful, I know, but please just ignore it for now. I promise I won't sound like this forever. So on today's agenda at 9 a.m., I have a hair appointment. So as you guys know, I'm back to sew-ins now and I, it was about this length and I cut it to this like collarbone bob look. And though it looks really nice and lovely, I mean, I love it so much. I kind of wanted to, I kind of want to get it cut a little bit more professionally because I literally just cut it 
bluntly. So after that, I'm gonna head to Nordstrom. Nordstrom's gonna open at 10. I'm gonna go pick up, I'm gonna grab a gift for someone and then Starbucks. I need a venti coffee girl the largest coffee that they can give me today because I need it. And then I'm gonna go pick up a order from Sephora. I ordered last night. I'm working with Sephora this month. So I got a bunch of goodies and I'm gonna share with you guys. And then my jewelry. I need to shoot some pictures of my jewelry. So I'm going to do that. You guys know I love me some Majeri jewelry. They hooked me up with a bunch of beautiful pieces to share with you guys. So I'm just very obsessed with them. I'm gonna share with you what I'm currently wearing right now. Today I'm wearing their Charlotte Bold Hoops. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite styles or pieces from Majeri. It's just such a classy and just timeless design. And it always just makes me look and feel my best. On my neck, I'm wearing the daintiest necklace ever. This is their Who necklace. And then here I have the croissant dove ring and then the Charlotte Thin ring here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my Majeri pieces today. I definitely want to get some close-up shots of these for the feed. So that's on the agenda for today as well. Then after that, I have a meeting at noon and they're going to be meeting me at my office space, which is so nice that I can say, yeah, let's have a meeting with the brand at my office. I know that's right <laughs> and then I have to pick up an order from the mail room and then I'm gonna film a Sephora haul we'll just see how many things from this list I get done if I could check everything off it's gonna be a fantastic day but even so you know tomorrow's a new day and I can get some stuff done tomorrow as well but yeah before I jump into my errands though I did pick up a few things I thought I'd do a really quick unboxing i got a few things from a few different stores okay so first off i'm going to show you guys what i got from joe malone this was actually a gift from kowser and her friend so thanks guys if you're watching so this isn't necessarily my first joe malone fragrance but it kind of is i don't have any of their classic like fragrances i have like the i have one that's the limited edition one it looks like that so i'm happy that i got this one so packaging here so the fragrance i went with is the joe malone peony and blush suede so i definitely went with something that was just a classic to their brand when choosing a fragrance and this has happened before whenever i go into joe malone i get so confused and overwhelmed by all the beautiful scents and i always just end up leaving with nothing because i'm like it's too much but i decided to go with this because it really left an impression on me so this is what I'm going to also be wearing today, just to see how it fares on my skin. I mean, I did try it on in the store that day, but it's just such a stunning scent. It's very vibrant and just um, sparkling and youthful, but also a little bit, you know, mature. I tend to go for like very deep, warm, musky, sweet scents. So this is just a little bit more like uppity and vibrant, so I'm very excited about it. And wow, it smells amazing. So from a store in Soho called Makeda, I love the store so much. I stumbled upon the store on accident a few weeks ago and the owner is so, so nice. And I, she sells a lot of fragrances as well, but also accessories, um, scents, flower just like, it's such a gorgeous store to go in definitely go and check it out i will leave the information below but i love the nishane brand this is what it looks like this is the nishane 100 silent ways hair perfume i have another one like this if you guys remember but it's in the tuberosa scent i think for a date night it's going to be amazing and this is for your hair but don't be shy to like dab a little under you know by your ear or on your wrist it's not gonna hurt you next up i got something from louis vuitton and let me tell you the story guys <sighs> did i tell you guys in a blog yet i don't think so but you guys know how i had the damier and ben key pouch well that got lost or stolen don't know where it is and i had to buy a whole new key set from my building which was so expensive i don't know why it's so expensive but my key pouch is gone so I was gonna keep, you know, I was gonna keep my keys solo. I was gonna rock them like this, but I kept reaching for the key pouch and I'm like, oh my God, it's gone. And you guys know, I've had that key pouch for a long time. I'll put the video here when I first unboxed it or shared it. I've had that key pouch for a long, long time and I really wanted it. So 
I just decided to purchase a new one and it kind of sucked purchasing a brand new one but I purchased another one in a different print that way it feels like something completely different because purchasing the same print was just going to annoy me so I got another key pouch and I got the this is the key clay key pouch in the monogram print which I have fallen in love with already I love this design a lot more it's a lot more I don't know, it's just more classic than the Damier event print, I think. I really do prefer this one. So that's pretty much it for my little unboxing here. I'm gonna get ready now to go to my hair appointment. I'll take you guys with me. So yeah, let's start our day. I just wanted to do this quick sit down haul bit for you guys so we can get the day started. Okay, my hair is done. I'm going to be heading to my office now. Um, just thought I would show you guys my hair. She did a great job. Like, this woman knows how to cut hair, okay? And she thinned it out for me like I wanted to. So now it's more like flowy. Okay, I love it. She took her computer stuff home and I took mine home like way back. I don't know when she did this to be honest, but um, yeah. I got a ham and cheese croissant from Starbucks. I honestly just got this because I was having like a craving. I don't even eat ham or anything like that, but for some reason I saw it on the menu and I, I was like salivating. <laughs> and then I got a pumpkin spice latte. So I'm just gonna eat this right now while i just listen to some music and or watch some youtube videos i don't know yet i didn't bring my laptop or anything because this is going to be a quick quick thing and i just want to grab starbucks have that meeting at noon shoot some stuff downstairs in the garage and then i think that's all i have on their agenda oh the sephora stuff so i have a few things to do here and my office space is actually located next to a mall so that's why you guys see me like in the mall and stuff um, that's basically what that is. Anyways, let me eat. I might do an Insta Instagram live. Actually, I haven't done a live in years. Morning guys, how you doing? I came into my office today. Alrighty, I'm gonna wrap up the live. Not me in the locker room watching this as if I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, I just finished a live. There you guys are.
All right, guys, I'm gonna be leaving soon. I have to go downstairs and shoot. And I have a meeting at noon, so I'm a little bit swamped for time, but thanks for hanging out with me. All right, so I just wrapped a live. That wasn't really planned, but as always, you guys are such a good time. You guys always ask the best questions and everything. So I'm gonna head downstairs now. I'm gonna get some shooting done. Um, so let's go and do that. The parking lot is nice and empty and it's clean today, so that's good. I always shoot by this wall right here. Put you guys by this thing here. It has a lot of cobwebs. There's probably a spider, so please don't get bitten. So the tripods come with like these attachment. Have to put it on. Okay, that looks good to me. So that's what we're working with right now. So I'm gonna start shooting. Forty-five. I have five minutes to get some shots in the other neckline top and then we're out. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a lovely day, okay? You too. Okay. because I have been on 20 since I've gotten to the office. Just been like all over for the place, but I think that's what I have from Lush because I can't show you guys the Sephora items yet. But from Lush, um, my friend Kowser put me on to these bars that you use in the shower. When you use these bars, you do not have to lotion. I promise you, your skin will be so moisturized. So how it works is you soap up your body and you you rinse off the soap and everything before you get out the shower rub this bar put it in your hand and just put it all over your body and you can rinse off again if you want to or simply get out the shower you know dry off yourself with your towel and stuff and i promise you you're gonna feel like you have a lotion on your body and if you're lazy like me especially when i'm going to bed i don't have the energy to lotion my entire body and this is a game changer I don't know what flavor I got, but they have a lot of scents. Um, they have some also that exfoliate your body. I personally don't like those ones. I think I got one actually. I did get one for exfoliation because exfoliating your body is good. So I got this one here. This is kind of, kind of like an oatmeal kind of earthy smell. It doesn't really smell too good, but you know. And they got one more, which is a massage oil. So it's pretty much it for right now. Let me grab my phone. <laughs> So, so far I've completed, where's my list? I got the Manjuri shots, I had my meeting, I got my Sephora order, got Starbucks, had my hair appointment at nine. There's three more things left on my list here. I have to pick up my mail. <coughs> 
which I'm gonna do now. Then I'm gonna film the Sephora haul. Once I kind of, I'm gonna just relax a little bit, drink some water, because I'm very like congested still, and then I'm gonna film. just wrapped my video so excited let's pack up guys i love 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 this product if you guys are looking for a moisturizer please get it so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Let me go back to the top. So all of these top pictures here, I hate them. The one that have, has like a heart um, has potential. Potential. But I'll do like one more scope through. Like the one that I hearted have, um, yeah. I hearted these prior, but I, I, I mean, I wouldn't even post these, so I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I might leave this one. So I just basically go through the photos, see which ones I'm feeling, which ones I'm not feeling. Uh, this can go on. This is a little bit blurry. Uh, it's fine. These are in a different um, format because these 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 are for thumbnails. This isn't bad. I wish my face was a little bit better, but I love the full length look. Okay, these are stunning. These are stunning AF, like these I love. But my camera is flashing, you guys. I hope it doesn't die on me, but if it dies, you guys will probably find me at home. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. But these pictures are stunning, right? The white and the melanin. Up. I got a package from H&M. I placed an order about a week ago and it's here. So let me show you guys what I got. I finally was able to get my hands on this gigantic vase that I've been wanting for so long. I mean, I don't know where I would put it yet. Maybe when I get my apartment, which I'm manifesting. So I'm shopping for my apartment here, okay? <laughs> the one that hasn't happened yet. And then I also got this one here, which is super nice. It's like a very weird shape as well, but very unique pieces. Um, I'm definitely obsessing over them a little bit. Let me show you on the floor. That's what it looks like. And then this one here, this is the shape. And you guys know I already have the smaller one to this already, so that's good. So I also got two cushion covers in this really beautiful, what would the shade be? be? This It's kind of like a terracotta. Is that what the shade is called? Um, they're a 20 by 20 size though, and I don't have cushions in that size. So I got this here, um, 20 by 20. So I got this, but for some reason, this is looking kind of big at all. Let me open this really quickly because I don't know what this is. Actually, no, it's fine. For some reason, it was giving me like a weird, like it looked like it was like a full size pillow for like your bed for like, you know, to sleep on. Okay, but it's rising right now. I don't know if you guys can see that it's rising. Nice, so these covers are for that to put on my bed. I don't have these style cushions, so I decided to just get some. And I got two fillers. And then finally from H&M, I finally was able to get my hands on the robe. I've always wanted one of their robes. I felt it one day in New York. I went into the H&M home in the city and I felt the robes and I've wanted one ever since, but I could never get this taupe color. So I'm happy I have that now. And that's pretty much all that I got from H&M. Yeah, and they shipped it in this massive box. But yeah, I'm gonna just bring these to the recyclables right now. By the time I'm done, my food should be ready, but love. 